Hello. Hi, good work. Good work. You're still freezing. <laughs> now I'm better. It was too cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not comfortable. Yeah. I I can understand Rosh uh, Hashanah and Shul davening. I know it's going to be very hot, but still. Yeah. Upstairs. It's going to be hot Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, no, where is he? I don't know. Hope he didn't forget. Oh, no. Which is possible. On the 10th. On the 10th. Hello. I am seventy six P two. I am involved on the days. Amr of Nachum by Yitzchak Kala Bevei Savia. We're talking not about the Ksuba, but the Kiddushin, the Kets of Kiddushin that's given to the father or the Kala. Below Tam Alibed Man Dvar Kiddushin Lav Litibuin Nitnu. We're not talking about the one who holds that. Yes, of Kiddushin is only given for Kiddushin. And if the Kiddushin are annulled, she has to give back the money. Even according to the Mandarma that holds that if you give Kiddushin to a woman, she keeps the money no matter what happens. Only Hanimili Kiddushin Vadai. But about Kiddushin toes. But if there might be a Mecca tos in the Kiddushan, like because of Mumin. So he might oh, hold on, hold on. Well, wait, just anyway, we're holding for a second. Sorry, sorry. Shabbat Tov. Shabbat Tov. Sorry. I am Vav Amud Beis. About halfway down. Ava Kiddushe tos, but mistaken Kiddushan. If the father, it may be right, he brings um, Raya that the Mumin happened after Kiddushan, then he keeps the money. Ilolo, so mesve. Machat shenimtse beoyve besakoisus. You have a needle that's found in the walls of the stomach, where if there's a hole in the wall of the intestine, the animal is treif. Now mitzadechad, if the needle is only, it hasn't traversed all the way through, kshera. Mishnate studying if the hole is all the way through trefo. And there's further evidence. Nim kordam, if there is a spot of blood on the needle, 
It must be that the animal swallowed the needle while it was alive. And the, the moon happened and it's certainly a trefa. If the needle does not found to have blood on it, it occurred, somehow the needle got into the stomach after shkita, and therefore it's kosher. And there's further evidence. If the wound has healed, right? There's a scab on it. This occurred three days. You can't form a scab that quickly. It had to occur three days prior to Shita. If there's no scab, and let's say the cell, the owner of the cow that sold the bush, um, so the guy who sold it is claiming that the damage happened after he sold it. And the butcher claims he bought it damaged. So then, whoever has the money, he keeps the money. And the other side has to bring evidence to take it out. It means if he already, if the tabach already paid for it, so the mocher has to bring raya um, to his side to get the money out of him. If he hasn't paid, the tabach would have to bring raya for his benefit. Meaning, if the butcher had bought, had, had already paid the money to the seller for the animal, he needs to bring proof that the mum occurred before he bought it and then he would get his money back. But based on the way we're learning by Kalav, am I? Let Baal Behem Elisi Ravenukim. Let the original owner who sold it to the Dapach bring proof and let him keep the money. It shouldn't be a case of Moitz Mechaver Lava Rai. So the Gemara says that's Bidlo Yoav Tabchadami Echadami. That would occur if the Tabach hasn't paid the money. So my Pascha. So it's Mashva from our Mishnah that each one would bring a riot to take the money out of the other person. Don't accept these principles that the brother Shmuel said. Depends in whose possession did the animal develop the moon. If it was the possession of the moicha, then he has to bring raya. If it occurred in the possession of the buyer, he has to bring raya. Vitanatuna kala. The Tana learned the same thing by kala, which is what we were talking about, whether the father has to bring a riot that the mum occurred after Kiddushan or the husband has to bring a riot that occurred before Kiddushan. Meisvei, machat shenim sebov if the butcher hasn't paid the money, so the owner of the behema has to bring proof to take money out of the tapach because it's already exchanged. Yeah. This is a case where the suffix occurred in the possession of the butcher who bought it. So the more it says, do you have tabach mei? It's a case where the butcher already paid the money. Well, my pasca, because if the money hadn't been paid, he wouldn't be in his possession. People don't transfer the item until money is paid. That if you can't find the mum, but the mum that are open, the husband cannot make any claim. He must have seen the mom and agreed to marry her anyways. A seizure disorder, where people have seizures. People don't know about it. That's if people have seizures at specific times. So it can be hid from people. 
Avalokvile, if it can happen any time, it's Kemum, everybody knows about it. So therefore it's Kemum and Shabagoli Dami, Mishnah. Ha'ish, after they get married, Ha'ish Noldu Lobumen. The man developed Mumin. Ein Koifinoi Selahoitzi. We don't force him to divorce his wife. That's in small blemishes. We don't force a wife to live with the husband when he's disgusting and we force him to divorce her. Rabiuda Tni Noldu. Rabiuda says they occurred after the marriage. That they were there even before they got married. Mandamar Noldu, the one who said that it only happened after they got married, certainly if they were there before, the Chachamim would not force a divorce. She must have known about it, but still married him. But the ones that say that we don't force a divorce, it's only if those women were there before they got married. But if it happened after, we would force a divorce. It's not our mission. Only small women. If it's a large room, we force a divorce. Bishop Mandamar do. I understand, according to Mandamar, it says all of this is only things that happened after they got married. That's why there's enough kamina between large women and not. El Mandamar Hayu. And yet we still don't force a divorce. What does it make a difference if the women were big or small? We're talking about a case that they were present before they got married and she saw them and yet agreed to marry him. You know what the Gemara says? There's nothing like actually living with somebody. Before she got married, she thought that, yes, he has women, but I can tolerate it. But now that I'm married to him, I can't accept it. And, and therefore, and we accept such a svarah. The Eluane Mumim Gdolim, what are we talking about? What kind of woman? Pirish Rav Shem Gamliel Kigon Nismas Eno. He lost an eye. Nick the Yado, he lost a hand. Nishpur Raglu, he broke his leg. Itmar Ravam Rayakam Rav Echalot Rav Shem Gamliel. The Allah is Rav Shem Gamliel. Ravam Rav Nachman, Allah Kadibar Chachamim. Afraid to Gamor, me Yom Rav Yechlan Hachi. That the Lachas Rav Shimon Gamliel, the Amr of Rav Chana and Rav Yechlan, the Chomakim Shashon Rav Shimon Gamliel, the Mishnah Seinu, Halacha Kamosa Chutz May Arav Itzayin and Raya Chroina. Rav Yechlan has always said that the Lachas Rav Shimon Gamliel, except for three loca- three episodes. So I'm a Roin in the Valley of Rav Yechlan. So Machlok is I'm a Roin in the Shita Rav Yechlan. What he holds, Mishnah. The following women, if the husband develops them, Bezin will force a divorce. Mukashkin, which is like leprosy. Ubapulipus, the Gemara will tell us what that is. Vamekamets, the Gemara will tell us what that is. Vamatsaref the somebody who works with copper. The Aburzi, a tanner. Whether these things were present before they got married or they happened after. And even though there was a Tanai that she said, I, I accept these. And she said the Tanai before they got married, she can change her mind. I thought that 
that I could live with him with these moving, but I can't. That means if they were present before they got married and she agreed, so she accepts it. Except leprosy. If when they have physical contact, sexual contact, pieces of his flesh are going to fall off. So it, it, we force a divorce. In Tyre, there was a tanner, Shemais, who died. He had a brother, who was also a tanner. And the original couple didn't have children. And she fell to Yibum, to the brother who was a tanner. Your brother, I could live with him even though he was a tanner. You, I don't, I don't, I can't. So Basin would force him to give chlitza. My bal pilipus. What's a pilipus? Could somebody send a a uh, a message to Elazar Ganauer that we're learning now? I'm not sure he knows. He was he, he was on before. I think they saying Slichas in his house at nine o'clock. That's oh. why he went off. I was see. he on? I don't know if he was on. No, he wasn't on. Okay, I'll send him a message. Yeah, send him a message because he may not have known that we changed it. Mario, can you also send him a message? I'll send one as well. I spoke with him. He told me at quarter to nine he was going to be off because of stickers in his right. house. So exactly. He, so that's what happened. And, yeah. And he was on for a few minutes. Yeah, I saw him oh, on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Go ahead. My Bal Pulipus. What is this Pulipus? Somebody who has a bad smell from his nose. Does that exist, Harold? People have no smell? Yeah, if they have a lot of mucus built up, yeah. So they can smell from their nose. Yeah. The The Bryson says it's bad breath. Harold, Harold, how come you don't make something for that? That's what you I did. I, I had an, I had nasal drops and nasal spray. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ravasi Masni Ipcha. Ravasi learned the opposite, that Shmuel was the one who said and, uh, and in the Mishnah, it was Umanech basimana, they, they gave a mnemonic, Shmuel opasik pumem mekula pirkim, that Shmuel, he was always speaking Torah. So that way you know that Shmuel is the one who, was, who held that it was Recha Peh. Mishnah said, Vamakamets, my Makamets, Amavidah Zamakamets, Soyas Klavim. There were people whose job was to gather the, the, the dung that was made by dogs. And they used that for tannery. And obviously the guy would smell. So that's a reason to force a divorce. Mesve. Makamets Zebursi. There's a price that says, Makamets is a tanner. So, so, so why don't you ask from our mission? It says a makamitz amet sarv nechoyshes rab bursi. It seems that bursi is separate from makamitz. Bishwa masis loy kasha kam bursi gadol kam bursi cotton. Maybe a makamitz is a small tanner and a bursi is a big tanner. El rab yudah kasha, but the way rab yudah is learning is is problematic. Tanoi. One Tana holds Makamets as a Tanner. The other Makamets is a gatherer of, of dog dung. People who made copper kettles. And they work with copper, which smells. A miner. They mine copper. There were mines. 
They were already mining iron ore, copper ore. The Bronze Era, you know, that's very early. It's 800 BCE, 1000 BCE is already mining going on. So that's, that was a profession that you'd come home and smell. Somebody who mines copper from the ground. A husband that says, I'm not going to give her parnosa. So we force a divorce. I'm going to feed barley to a lozer. <laughs> because what he said doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why do you force a divorce? Why doesn't Bezin just force him <laughs> to provide food for his wife? Why force a divorce? So Rav says, a, a wife would not want to live with a husband who had that attitude of not wanting to feed her. So we don't force him to do it. Why should she live with him when Bezin has to force him to, pay, to, to provide food for her? He saw like Rav Zera. When Rav Zera left Bavel Ter Tisrael Ashkel Rav Binyamin Bar Yefes, the Yosef Karmel Shmei Rav Yechon Amr Lei Al Doch Su Asayin Al Lazer Bavel. It was on that statement that they made a Lazer eat barley because they were upset with what he said. Amr Lei Amr Rav Asi Ein Maasin El Lapsulos. Besden does not force a divorce unless somebody married a woman who was puzzled, you know, Minat Torah. Let me ask you, so barley was considered the uh, Ochel Ganai? Yes. Barley is considered animal food. Ochel um, Bahama, yeah. Behemoth food, right. The way to remember that is on Pesach, we bring the Mincha Sa'oimer, which is a, a Mincha of barley. And then 50 days later on Shavuos, we bring the Shteh Lechem, which is a Mincha made out of wheat. So the Chazal explained that prior to the 49 days before we refine our Midos, we're like an animal. So the, mincha, we, the, mincha, the Mincha we bring is barley. After 49 days, we come to Shruas, we can now eat human food, wheat. <clears throat> Bezin doesn't force a divorce unless somebody is married to somebody that he's puzzled. Right? Coin can't marry Grusha. There, we force a divorce. Mamzer is in the scene of Yisrael, right? Lo yavo mamzer b'kal Hashem. Vas Yisrael in the scene of Mamzer. Aval nasi isha, the shoy imo eser shani v'lo yalta. You live with a woman and you have no children for 10 years. And they have no children. Ain koif in Yisrael. There, we're not forced a divorce. Even though there's an Ave where he's not Mekayim, Pru or Vu. Rav Tachlifa Baravimi Omar Shmuel, Afilu Nasa Isha Vishoyim Ha'asar Shani V'lo Yodah Koyf in Yisrael. That Bezin can force a divorce even in that case. That's the halacha. Ramo says that's only if he has no children from anywhere else. But if he has children, 
even though now that he's married to this woman, he's not a kind of Ravu, we don't force a divorce. And says the Shulchan Aruch, Bezin doesn't force a divorce in those situations at all anymore. The following cases, Bezin will force a divorce. Mukashkin if he gets leprosy. Ubal Pulipis, if he's uh, got bad breath. Bishmal Vasi, the Rabbonon Ketani. He mentions, these are things me Rabbonon. And the Raisa lo Ketani, because there's nothing mentioned, the Raisa there. El and the Rav Tachlifa Baravimi, listening, Nasa Isha V'Shoyim Ha'as Hashem V'Lo Yalda Koyf Noisoy. That's also the Raisa. He wasn't Mekayim Pru of Ruh. Am Rav Nachman, Loi Kasha, Habamili Habashuti. It depends how you force. Bimili means you talk to him. Vishuti means you beat him. Maskiv Ravaba, Bidvor and Loyivas are often. With words, you're not going to be able to get anybody to do anything. El Amr of Chai, Haba Both are called, both are using force. Asam ki amin abin abade. The Mishnah, when he says, Roitsani, no. When she says, even though he has these things, I want to stay with him, we don't force a divorce. The other case holds that that even in cases where she said, I still want to stay with him, we don't allow it. By leprosy, no, she says, I want to stay, we don't allow it. It's not chutzmi mukashchim that neshem amakso because it damages him. Uktani hasam ki yomer darin abadei besadi. Even if she says, "Listen, I will stay with him with witnesses who will testify that I don't sleep with him." Shavkin and lo, but hacha avah gav darin darin abadei besadi. Even if I have witnesses, lo shavkin and lo. By mukashchim, it's dangerous for him, so we don't allow. It. Even if she says, "I want to stay with him," huh. you still force a divorce. One of the elders of Yushalayim told me, Esrim va'arba mukeshchim, there's 24 kinds of lepers. The kulan anu chachamim tashmish kashom, sexual relations is bad for all of them. Ubalei rosan kashami kulan. Balei rosan is a kind of leprosy where it's worse, it's, it's the worst. Mimai habi. How do you get this move? If a person had bloodletting and we and had sexual relations, he'll have very weak children. But if the man and the woman had bloodletting, they get this kind of leprosy. It's only if they didn't eat something after the bloodletting. If they ate something, then there's no worry. How do you know that they have this? They have a lot of tears from their eyes. Diving the chire. They have a lot of mucus coming from their nose. They have a lot of saliva from their mouth. There's a lot of flies that fly around him. Umaya Sute, how do you cure him? Omra Baya, Pila Lodna Girda de Goza, the Girda Dashpalukil Malka, Umatkala de Dikla Sumka, Vishalk Lubade Adadi. You take some grass and walnut shells. And some kind of palm, red palm. You cook it all together. Mm. And you put the guy into a marble house, which is completely closed. Vilo Ike basic the shaisha, you don't have a marble house. You put him in a house, like a brick house, 
v'natale plasmea kasi al reshe, you pour 300 cups of this mixture on his head, ad rafia ari to the moiche, until his skull becomes soft. The kara la moiche maisi arba tarfi da asa. You tear open his skull and you bring myrtle branches. Umadli kol chad kara moisim chad veshakal mitzavsa bekalile. I guess there's an insect there. You have to get it out. You lift one of the legs of the insect and you put it, a, a myrtle branch underneath the leg. And then you remove it with like a, a stick and you burn it. The ilo hader iloi. If you don't burn it, this insect will come back. <clears throat> Bizarre. Machriz Rav Yechnon, his harm is vuve shel bale rosson. Stay away from the flies because it transmits the disease. Rav Zeir lahava yosik bezike. Rav Zeir didn't sit where there was wind because he was concerned about being infected by whatever germs are being transmitted. Rabbi Lazar lo'ayel ba'o'alei. Rabbi Lazar wouldn't go into the house of somebody afflicted with this. They wouldn't even eat from eggs from the alley that this guy lived in. However, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi mechrich bu basak Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi would learn Torah with these people. Omar, ayeles ohavim v'yales chen. Imchein mal alondea aguni lomagna. Hashem promises chen to someone learning Torah. So it's certainly going to prevent me from getting sick. So I can learn with them. So ki avishochim. When Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi was going to die. They told the Malachamoves, go do what he wants because he's a big tzaddik. And we, he should die the way he wants to die. So the Malachamoves appeared to Rishub and Levi. Omer Lay, Rabbi Shub and Levi said to the Malachamoves, Show me my place in Gan Eden. Omer Lei Lechai, for you to say, okay, I agree. Omer Lei, so Rishub and Levi said to the Malach, Havli Sakincha, give me your knife that you used to shecht us. Dilma Mavatit Li Beorcha. Because I'm going to get scared as you're flying me to Gan Eden. So give me your knife, so I will hold your knife. You have a So the Malach HaMoves gave Rabbi Shub and Levi his knife. Kimot HaLohasam. So they got to Gan Eden. Dalia. Kamach Bulein. Showed him the place in Gan Eden. Shavar Nafalahu Gisa. So Rabbi Shuv fell into Gan Eden, Lei B'dikahai. Nakte Bekarna de Glima. So the Malach has grabbed him by the corner of his garment. Omar Lei, Bishwasa de Loi Isna. I take a shvua that I'm not going to come with you anymore. I'm going to stay in Gan Eden. Omer kotcher brichu. I itchel ha-shvua sani adar. If once in his life he was, he asked on a shvua and it was a null, so here as well, 
you can annul the shvua, and you can take him out of there. Ilo lo niadar. If he never had a shvua annul, then you'd leave him there. And since he never had, he never asked that the shvua be annulled, he stayed beganeim lebedikahay. So Rabbi Shuvin Levi is one of those people that ended up in Gan Eden Lebedikahai. Omerlei Havli Sikinoi. Okay, the Malach is at least give me back my knife. Lavaka Yoivle. Your Shuvin Levi didn't want to give him back the knife so that he wouldn't kill other people. Nafka Baskal of Omerlei. So a Basque heavenly voice came out You got to give it to him because that's the, this is the Derech it's people, people died. It's, it, and, and therefore he needs the, he needs the socket. So that's why Elio Novi announced, make room for the, the son of the Levi. Azul Ashkachei, Rav Shem Ben Yochai, Rav Yosef Atlasus Eser Tachsaki Pisa. Rav Yosef Ben Levi was up in Gan Eden, went visiting, and he met up with Rav Shem Ben Yochai. There was also in Gan Eden. He was sitting on thirteen golden mattresses. Armele, Atu Bar Levoy, are you the famous Bar Levoy? Armele, hey. So Rav Shimon Yochai asked him, Nira so keshes piyamecha? Did you ever see the rainbow in your life? Amr lehein. Yeah. So in Cain, yata bar levoy, you can't be bar levoy because there's a Masor that in a tzadi gamur, there'll never be a rainbow seen during his generation. So you can't be bar levoy. The law of immediate. In fact, in Rabbi Shubhad Levi's time, there was no rainbow, but he was an honor. I don't want to brag too much. Chanina Bar Papa was also sort of friendly with the Malacham mothers. So, when Rav Chanina Bar Papa was going to die, also they said to the Malach HaMavis, Amr the Malach HaMavis, Zil Avid Lei Reusa, go do what he wants. Azal Gabe Vizchazil, again, the Malach HaMavis appeared to him. Amr Lei Shavki Tlasin Yom Adinader Talmudoi. He told the Malach HaMavis, give me another 30 days. I want to do Chazor on all of my learning. The Amri, because it said, Ashri Misha Balakan, the Talmud of the Happy is the man that comes to Ganadin with all of his learning in his hand. So he wanted to be Choyzer all of his learning. Shavke. So the Malcham of us agreed and said, Okay, I'll give you 30 days. The Basar Tlas and Yomin Azal is Chazile. The Malcham of us reappeared after 30 days. Amr Lay. Achvili Duchtoi. Chanina Bar Prabhu again asked, show me my place in Gan Eden. Armelei l'chai, the Malach HaMavis agreed. Armelei, havli sakin chadil and vases l'bewurcha. Again, he asked for the knife to hold so he won't get scared. Armelei, ki chaver chaboy, so maybe like what? You want to do what Yeshua ben Levi did and steal my knife? Armelei, I see Sefer Torah, v'chazi meik imidi d'chosef be'i d'lo kiyanti. Go bring a Sefer Torah. And see, is there something that I've never fulfilled? And therefore, I want to also go into Ganadin alive. Yeah, but you, you didn't learn Torah with the lepers the way Rishab and Levi did. Even so, I want that. When he died, if it lay a mooded nor bendy de la alma, there was a pillar of fire between him and the people. Ugmiri, the la mifsica mooded nor la chad bedor, la train bedor. But this would only occur to either one or two in a generation. 
and the people couldn't come close to bury him because of the fire. Kor of Lagabe, Rabbi Lachzandri. Rabbi Lachzandri came close. Omar, he said, let the fire go away because of the honor of Chachamim. And it didn't go away. Also, do it because of Rav Papa. And they start like the fire went away. Om Rabayim. Lafuki Bimandu Lokayim. Afilo Osachas. Wanted to separate between him and someone who never learned. It's to separate him from me. I didn't build a, a fence on my roof. But the he had a makia, but the wind had blown it down. How come there are no lepers in Bavel? But they show Oichlin trade in. They eat watercress. The Shoisin Shecher shall hear me. They drink beer made out of hops. On Rav Yechem and Naim, it's Iran Bavel. When they show Oichlin trade in, the Shoisin Shecher, the Rots of the Maypras. They eat watercress, they drink beer, and they wash in the Euphrates, which is very healthy. Harlach Amadur Sishto, Harlach Amadur Sishto, Amadur Amadur Sishto. Okay, we're going to learn next, uh, first day Rosh Hashanah, 5.25 p.m.